Welcome to another Ridge Monkey recipe. Right, today we're going to do something really, really simple. We're going to be using the compact pan. Now, everybody knows this as the Ridge Monkey toasty pan. I want to show you that it's not just for toasties. So what we're going to do, I've got the stove on really low and I'm just going to preheat that ever so slightly. We want to preheat both sides because this is going to act in effect like an oven. Now, what we've got here is some just roll, some little cinnamon buns. We're going to take this out. We're going to slice it, put them in there and then over a low heat, that's going to provide enough heat in there just to let them rise, prove and cook through. Really simple little breakfast idea or snack while you're out. Right, let's get started. So first of all, we're just going to take this out of the box and you can see we get two canisters. So this is some little fondant icing and then we just open like so. And we are left with that dough. So as you can see there, a really simple little dough. What we're going to do, I'm going to divide that. And we're going to cut these into each half into three. So we're going to have six little swirls. So there you go, for one pound, we've got six of those. You can, you know, you've got friends coming over, you, you've got people coming to see you, really, really simple to cook. So we preheated that side, we're now going to flip that over. So you could fit three in there, let them prove and cook, or for something slightly different, we can actually squeeze all of them into there. We'll get those fitted in, and that's gonna prove up like one sheet. There you go, so you can see the six of those, they're fitted in, that's gonna provide enough heat in there and enough steam to, and moisture to let them rise up while it's cooking. So we're gonna close that down and let that cook. Now the secret to this is every minute or so we're just going to flip it over so they're going to cook evenly. If you only ever cook it on one side what's going to happen the top's going to stay raw but the bottom's going to burn so we need to keep turning that evenly distribute that heat around the pan and they'll cook perfectly. I'll see you in a couple of minutes when they're done. These have been cooking now for about a minute so we're going to flip the pan over like I said and just have a look there you go you can see that starting to cook they're starting to rise and that's what we want, so over a low heat. If that was any higher, they'd already start to caramelize and burn, and that's not what we want. We want that dough to cook slowly through so it'll prove up as it warms through. So you can see the butter coming off there, the beautiful non-stick pan. You don't need anything else in that pan. There's no need to put any silicon paper, etc., to stop them from sticking. So we're gonna close that back down, and we're just gonna keep turning that, and in total, I think they're gonna take about eight minutes to cook. You can really smell that cinnamon coming out of that. The smell of that is fantastic. You've got that really buttery taste as well in the air. The cinnamon coming through and that little bit of sweetness is gonna be fantastic when they're done. So in the meanwhile, we've got this little tub that comes with it. Now this is just a pure tub of icing sugar, just to make a little bit of icing for the top. I've just transferred a touch of water into one of our little kettles. Now this isn't hot, this is cold. And all we are gonna do is the equivalent of about two teaspoons. We've got our little teaspoon there. Now remember, you can always add extra, but you can't take it out. Right, these are now cooked. I've just turned the heat off. You can see there, look at the coloration on those. Beautifully, they're nice and crisp on the top, well colored, cooked all the way through. So all we're gonna do, just unhinge the pans. That's the beauty of these pans, you can unhinge them couldn't do on the first ones but this makes everything so much easier now we've got our plate here all we're going to do lift that up flick it on and there we go there are our six cinnamon swirls cooked perfectly there you go now that's going to add another little sweetness to it what will work really well with this you could get some berries on the top use this as a tear and share as it is but you could put some fresh berries on there as i said you can actually put a little bit of bacon over there some nice smoky crisp bacon fried egg on top and that'll be a really really nice little breakfast <laughs> 